力の差を教えてやる。So yeah, there aren't a lot of、uh, harp espadas that have hollow killer in the game, other than Loopy being the only one that is in the、uh, premium pool that you can pull from, which has been in a lot of banners as of right now. As a matter of fact, he is actually kind of low key starting to piss me off. And so far, let me be honest here, the only real、uh, espadas that we use that have hollow killer. Have to be the Can't Fear Your Own World version of Yami, and of course, Parasol Halibo, which, despite her having range collision, I'd actually say that she's better than Loopy, in my personal opinion. But we do have the one Espada that started it all being the first Holo Killer, and that is White Day Stark. So, yeah, this is the unit that we're going to be doing for today's Forgotten Unit. Hello, everybody, this is your boy, the t h e s t m a s h e r and welcome back to another Forgotten Unit showcase where I basically take a look into units that have not been summonable for quite some time and aren't being used in today's meta for the game itself. Like, you don't see the, these characters running around co op or PvE, PvP, or even、uh, guild quests being, or even being as bonuses for guild quests anymore. And this star t just happens to be completely forgotten, left in the dust. And we'll see why. So, anyways, this unit is a, a rocker slash espada unit with hollow killer. So, again, this guy is the very first espada heart unit to get the hollow killer. And he does have a strong attack damage of 25%. I would have preferred if it were strong attack cooldown, but it is what it is. That being said, he does have some really good stats. Like, he's got 1007 stamina, attack at 645, defense at 352, focus at 338, and an SP of 741. And it's actually pretty good because this character did come out in 2018. So, in terms of overall stats, it's pretty good. But when we go ahead and take a look at his、um, skills, so as you can see, his kit doesn't really do anything. Except raw and pure damage. That's all he does, nothing but damage, and that's it. But at least he doesn't have the problem that movie one Ichigo has being unable to nuke, because at least this Dark has a devastation at 40%. And now the rest of his skills he's got a 20% bruiser, devastation 40%, long reach 20%, frenzy, and sprinter. So this Dark doesn't exactly have a lot of skills, because back then you, the characters could only get up to. Six to seven skills, unlike today's meta where we normally get eight skills for, for a character. But hey, the past is, pa is the past, and the thing we can do to change about it. But, anyways, is this unit still good? Is he still worth using? Well, we will find out right now because I'm going to be doing the normal type damage build, Saint Kaizen, and of course, we're going to be rocking the hybrid strong attack damage slash strong attack recharge build with the frenzy links. So, I'm gonna start off directly with the normal attack damage build and, of course, jump over to my own White Day Stark. Alright, so we are back with the normal attack damage build, and so far we gave this Stark a Chappy, Bait, and a Movie Item over 30% attack. I don't have、uh, the Bawa Bawa accessory, so I don't have the、uh, Nad Multiplier for Espadas, which I'm gonna be honest here, I don't actually plan to get it because I don't have any other good uh, Nad uh, Espadas for Heart other than. The OG Hard Stark, which I'm not even gonna bother playing around with. And of course, the links, we gave him、uh, triple Sinkai Mon Zengetsu links, so we do get a, a base、um, increase of 75% in normal tag damage, as well as up to、uh, 48% damage reduction. So, yeah, we basically get his bruiser buffed up to 95%. So, let's just see how good.、Um, The、normal tag damage build is going to actually perform. Okay, so here we are in the IZ raid. Of course, we're going to be showcasing all Forgotten units in IZ because we want to also test out if the units themselves are actually、uh, completely usable. So,、um, yeah, his normal tag damage build is actually not that bad, but his first.、Um, His first three strings are basically gonna stay at 100%,、uh, but his last string、uh, becomes a range collision projectile and basically becomes 30% mag. 
which is very similar to uh, Manga Renji's um, normal tag damage string, which, personally speaking, it's not the best. Like, it's not going to be that great in terms of actually taking down mobs, but... Hmm, I don't know. Would I actually recommend this build? Um, let's just see. Let's just see, because so far, I don't have a proper input, but so far... I'm not liking the build way too much, like, I feel, I honestly feel like I'm not doing the best of the best in terms of overall damage, even though we're facing up against no affiliation enemies, but, uh, look, I, I'm gonna be honest here, I prefer, uh, m m full on melee collision nad strings, cause this just, it really doesn't feel fun, like, at least, at least fucking, um, movie one Ichigo when I reviewed him, even Kakao Society Yoruichi, they both had better normal type damage strings than um, this White Day Stark, like, look, look at that, it takes a full string to actually be, even be able to kill, like, I, I know this is an SP unit, and I shouldn't really judge it off of that, but, when it's not fun, it's not fun, Jeets, like, it just isn't. And we're taking forever to clear the raid. I don't even know if I want to finish this shit. <laughs> and I actually like Stark as in a spot. I like, I really do. But, I don't know. Definitely not a good normal tag damage build to go with in terms of this kind of character. Like, come on, there's just so many better um, frenzy units nowadays that have a better normal tag damage string and a better damage output. Like, even the new... Um, uh, ultimate all-rounder does the job very well with that 40% bruiser vendors. Oh my god, I got fucking confusing. Yeah! <laughs> wow. To be honest, I really felt like this star could have been just a direct range character instead of melee because I just never saw Stark as a melee character. Like, when, when it came to using guns, I always, I always saw him as a range character. And I'm glad <laughs> they did just as with the can't fear your own world version of Stark. But this one, yeah, let's just say for for the for an overall really good Stark. Who was actually the first really good one until well actually technically the tech Stark uh, before six stars were a thing, he was actually a beast in PvP. But when six stars came around, uh, he just basically immediately became trash and Yeah, you guys get the point. Uh, let me just go and um get through this shit, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna die here, like, low-key. Let's see if I can actually push back. Okay, hold on. Okay, we should be good. We should definitely survive the special. There we go. Apart that, uh, full hollow of Ichigo special ain't full screen. <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, I definitely do not recommend this build whatsoever. I do not recommend it. Just don't use it. Even if you link slot this character, it's just, it's just not fun. Let's just move on with the Sinkaizen build. Okay, so we are back for the Sinkaizen build, and I gave him, of course, as you would expect, a pill bait and tension tie, all with 30% SP, and the links being full Sinkaizen. Now, I unfortunately do not have the Aspire Chair for Heart, but I'll, I'll, I'll get around to getting one whenever I can, just for my Segunda Tapo Okiara. Really, that is the only reason why I would actually go for that. But anyways, we're good, we're just gonna go and jump back onto IZ and see if the build actually works out in our favor, even without the link slots, and see if it's actually really good. And we are back again with the Sinkaizen build. Now, one thing to note is that Stark, he's got melee collision on both his second and third, but his first strong attack is unique, but not in a good way. Because his, ba his okay, so it's basically like a semi-lunge, and then he basically fires off a projectile. Now, is this good? Not really, because as you can see, that small lunge alone was not enough to be able to kill off the mobs, and then... The projectile it's itself, of course, becomes a range collision projectile. And the bad thing about it is that the mags are actually awfully low. Like, the lunge itself is 48% mag, which is not that good. And then when you basically fire off the projectile, it basically turns into 24% mag. Like, it doesn't even kill off mobs that quickly. 
which is a bit of a shame. But his second and third strong attack are good. I'll say that much, but really, the only reason why I don't enjoy this character as much as I would want to is just because of that first strong attack. I really don't like it. Oh, now that I think about it, I was too much into talking about the attacks that I didn't even see the damage. Okay, well, let's just see the damage. So, second strong attack, 12,000. Not bad. Third strong attack. Oh, fuck, I didn't get to... Oh, oh these were all against uh, no affiliation enemies. Okay, let's see the damage. 6,000 and basically 6,000 to 7,000 damage. It's pretty me uh, mediocre, like... Bruh. <laughs> You want to you want to make a fucking uh, range move? Let it be a beam move with melee collision. Fuck, man. Okay, let's see the damage with our third. Ten thousand. All right, that's actually not bad. Not bad. But um, yeah, that's basically the same cousin build. It's a good build. I'm not gonna lie. You can actually get some great use out of it, especially for when you bring this character into the likes of Sinkai Moon Quest and. Yeah, this is with the nuking, 51,000. Not bad, not bad. But, um, yeah. Oh, no, I forgot to show off the special, didn't I? Oh, well, we'll show it off with the strong attack recharge build. But it's a fun build. At least this one actually makes it a good build to run on with Stark. So now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go with some um, hybrid strong attack recharge, strong attack damage links. Mainly using the frenzy character, of course, and... We will see if that is actually going to be amazing. So I'll be back in just a good minute. We are back and nothing has changed for the accessories. But the links are different because we're running uh, two Frenzy characters and of course the Stark link. So we should definitely have around 33% uh, reduced strong attack cooldown. And of course the uh, Berserker up at 75%. So that's actually not bad. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get back into IZ and and see how good the build performs. All right, so here we are. Let's just see how well he performs. Now, because we ran with this in Kaizen build, for sure with this kind of build, we shouldn't expect the best of the best in terms of all damage. And yeah, the lunge itself was not enough to kill. Second strong attack, at least it kills. Also the third, but let's just see against the hollows. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that first strong attack is really turning me off from even using this character. Like, it's a really old character, like, I know it's from 2018, but come on, man, like, the seasonal characters we get nowadays are way better than this. Like, way better, like, forget the fact that this unit has a boosted strong attack damage link, like, the f that first strong attack itself is just terrible. Like, it just doesn't really make me enjoy this character. I'll say this, it is a good character. But, I would only use him if you only like playing as this character and if Stark is also your favorite character. Now, I love Stark as an Espada. Is he my favorite character? Not really as high as compared to Ukiora, Halibel, Aizen, and Ichigo, and of course, uh, Rukia. So, yeah, I have no incentive to actually Link slot this character. That being said, there are better Aronka slash Espada characters that have Hollow Killer that are way better than the Stark and have have actually aged well. Like we have Can't Fear on World Yami, which is great. He's got Flurry. He's got decent um, crowd control with his strong attacks. We've got Par Parasol Halibel, which even though she's got range collision first strong attack and has a vortex, still does way more damage than the Stark. And then of course we've got. Loopy, who is actually also better than this Stark. Anyways, let's see the special move animation. The only reason why I even like this character is just because of his character design, his special animation, and the type of second strong attack and third strong attack he has. But again, the first strong attack is also turning me off and loopy also is a better character than stark even though loopy has been pissing off a lot of people including myself like my loopy is almost five out of five and once i get him five out of five i'm not even gonna max transcend him because i know i'm not gonna use him 
So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Now, let me ask you guys this question. Do you guys still use this uh, White Day Star or this Cacao Society Star? If you guys do and actually enjoy him, let me know in the comment section below because it's actually interesting to know if people nowadays still do use these kind of units. Because it's always nice to know because there, there are people that do have different opinions that are completely mixed. I, for one, don't like playing as this character too much, despite him having a really nice character design. I much prefer playing as Can't Figure Out World Stark over this Stark, but it is what it is. This character is quite old anyways. He's gonna be two years old uh, this coming year, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy, The Deathmasher, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, lads. Yeah.